Ruth here, and welcome to Shout Out Sunday number 37. As you know by now, I think this is the second time anyway, this is now a monthly occurrence on the last Sunday of every month because it's just easier to remember and I won't forget. And I'll have more people on the list to shout out, which is nice. Okay, so first of all, huge thank you to everyone who's commented and surprised newly subscribed and are still subscribed, it does really mean a lot that you comment because I like hearing from everybody what you guys think of the video if you still want to watch the type of video I'm doing and all that stuff. So these are the selection of people who have commented at least twice from my last shadow video last month. So it is my good friend Juin Rivera. A big thank you for commenting because you are the one that comments most from what I've read and it's very nice to, to hear and see from you and that you enjoy watching. Um, Pokecard X is the next uh, my six eight runner up and the one, second one who comments the most and very nice to see that you do also enjoy watching. Next one up is uh, Pokemon Treaders. And same again, do, I do thank you for watching, and yeah, even though if it was only the required amount of comments, I do appreciate it. And lastly is another friend that has commented quite a few times before, Getty Images. Do check him out. Awesome videos, very lovely to watch, does good giveaways, and just all around goodness, shall we say. Now, here is from I bought from, I would say one, but none of those I've won anything from this time. So we have Jay the Pokemon Lover. Very awesome to get that aerial pop for me. And there's other Pokemon goodness on Instagram that I've bought from and still buying from. <laughs> Next up, we have Meza Mizu, which came out with this lovely selection of Rise of the Shield Hero pins, which, if you watch that video, you shall see what I'm talking about. Uh, Fish Doodle is also another awesome pin maker, and he, they've done the Naruto crossover with Pokemon pins, which you'll see I've bought three of their pins so far. Initially, it was a Kickstarter, but I am going to pledge for one. Would now wish I punch for all of them, but I'll get to that because the shipping is kind of on the expensive side. But I will eventually get all of them, hopefully, before he runs out. Um, do do also obviously check him out on Instagram and his shop. It's you know very lovely pictures, lovely just all around. Mm -hmm. Another awesome pin maker is Stammy Studios, as you've probably seen. I think I've only done one video, and that was the July Pokemon Pin Club thing on their Patreon. So do check them out. They all obviously have a normal pin club and um, their Instagram and their own, I think it's Etsy shop or it's their own shop, I can't remember. Their own shop, I believe. Lovely Pokemon pins, lovely other pins. Like that, um, man, what's it called? Yes, I I'm looking at it now because I kind of forgot. The Luna sleeping on a cloud pin with those dangly, charmy thingies, I guess you call them. I have no idea. And the, uh, what's him call it? Other pin that I mentioned in the last shout out video because I already shouted them out for those ones. <laughs> um, anyway, we have Dark Gaming Official and Maybe Heart. I see them both together because I bought their collab pin of the limited edition Soot Sprite Hourglass pin, which is absolutely beautiful. Only limited edition of 100, I managed to get one and we'll watch that video to see and it is very lovely. 
And they also do lovely other pins as well. So do check them out. Their Instagram and Etsy or their own shop or whatever, whichever. They have all description. Um, <laughs> yes, all. All links are in the description box below. That is what I'm trying to say. And lastly, there is Sleepy Snorlax X. I did a trade with them. Which you would have seen if you watched that video. Mm -hmm. um, and they opened my trade on their Instagram. So, yeah. Okay, so. Now I guess I can... Oh, I think I'll put that picture in now. Uh, as you see on the picture you see... Yeah. I made a how-to... To get onto a... Uh, Shout-out video. Instead of me constantly saying it. You can just read it. Mm -hmm. There you go. Now, now that you've read it, or paused the video, I just made that quickly on Instagram, because, yeah, not sure why, but I did anyway. Okay, so, as you see, the links are... Uh, well, just read the description box, too, if you want. Like, my email, or my... PayPal link is in the description box below in their own little mini paragraphs so you can see because I did, you know, lay them out so you can read it properly because if it's all in one paragraph, I kind of lose place too, so, yeah. Anyway, moving on. Just a random little bit. At Chaos Cards, they have this awesome... They actually sell pops as well. So they have, like, this awesome selection and most of them are currently being on sale. I don't know if it's sale, but it's highlighted in red. So I'm guessing I'm thinking it's the sale part. But they're on sale for £8.95. So you'll see in a future video when I get it that you'll see the pop that I bought from them. Next up, another video that's going to be opening re soon is Cherry Wallace's um, the Curation of Magical Curiosities box, powered by Geek Gear. It's a one-time box. I'm not going to call it a subscription box because it's not a subscription. But it's all full of one item. So, set of an items. One item for each year of the Harry Pot the main Harry Potter series. Which, as you know by now, I like Harry Potter. A lot. Not as much as anime, but I do like it a lot. I think it actually comes maybe either second or third in my anime, Disney, or Harry Potter. The list switches around between Disney or, or Harry Potter, which I like more. I don't know. I'll just say both of them are number two. Yes. Anyway, that box is awesome. I basically kept everything. Most of the box included, so I can paint on it. You know, so I don't paint on my desk. Because I'm going to try and paint something. I'm, I'm getting into a very arty mood right now, so we'll see, won't we? Okay, lastly is this Pokemon Go. I don't normally, I'm not doing very much on that anymore because, well, I'm not playing that much right now because I'm more focused on other things, but, and also because I keep on forgetting because, yeah. Ooh, they changed the, did they change the time? It's for the UK people, GMT. It's 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. They changed the time again, didn't they? Because it used to be in the afternoon. Anyway, so yeah, it is a bit earlier now. But it's still for three hours, so, yes. And that will be on the 15th of September, and it will be Turtwig. Again, I think. Pretty sure. But exclusive move is, uh, has question marks on it. Times three catch, stardust, and three hour lores as normal. So do check that out if you still play Pokemon Go. I mean, I still have it on my phone, but I haven't actually played it in a while. Which I probably should. But there we go. But you know, the only like thing that's weird is that you know, for the the friends thing, it's got good friends. Great friends, best friends, and ultra friends, or whatever. I I always thought that a great friend would be not the the top friend thing you can get. I figured it would be an ultra friend, you know. But it's the other way around. 
And it's like, I had to double take on that because I wasn't really sure if I was looking at it right. Because it just didn't really make sense to me. Yeah. That was just, just a weird thing I like, was thinking about. Um, I don't know if I'm going to get the Aki Banter box. I did order the uh, Harry Potter box. Um, but I don't know if I'm going to get the Yaki Bento one. Because, like, it is... The theme is chill out, I think. I mean, they've got your camp, your on ice, and... who what was that? Uh, that one with the raccoon thing. Retsu something or other. I've never watched it. I've heard of it, and I have a picture of what, it, what the name is in my head, but I can't really get all the pictures. So... It's Retsugo, Retsu, yeah, anyway, it's that. So I don't know if I should get it or not. I like two of the anime out of the three, but I'm not sure. And I don't know if I have the money for it either, because I'm kind of backing some Kickstarters and stuff, so for more pins. Because, <laughs> like, some of the pins, I just can't resist. I mean, they're sort of like Sailor Moon and stuff. And there's, like, a... Lion King pin section I'm backing right now. There's all of the other, and another one is finished. Um, some other ones. But you'll see which ones I've backed and everything when I get them and do the video and put them in a shout out video like every single other pin I've been doing. So, I believe that's it. Um,. Yes, I believe so. If you would like to know, I've got a few other videos that are coming up. No videos are going to be posted on Fridays anymore, but Saturdays only. And, well, I've got a few weeks all set. So like for instance, there's a remint terranium coming up, a Cardiff trip out with my sister, like foggy thing, slash the hall at the end, which if you're interested in watching it, um, it's not videos, it's mainly pictures, but I did try and animate them, and, like, with, with the transitions and stuff, to make it a bit more interesting to watch. Um, and then there's some more Unified Lines opening, Broken Bonds, uh, a couple more pins, and a few, the couple of the, uh, Lost in the Check, Check Lane blisters that I've been saving, for pack battles, but I figured since I didn't have anything to open, I figured I'd open it. Um, I do have two Hidden Fates Mew pin box and Mewtwo pin box coming soon. Because I did order it before the uh, 2 p.m. cutoff time. So instead of them shipping it out on Tuesday, they ship it out yesterday. Or the day before. Because it is... Bank Holiday Monday on Monday, the 26th. So, I think I'm just babbling on now. So, I'll end this. I don't think there's anything else to add. Um, oh, yes, last thing. Please do check out my eBay and Instagram sales pages. I've moved most of, mostly everything to my eBay in hopes that it will sell. Uh, so far, a couple things have sold which is great, but it would be very helpful if more things sold, or if you just want to be nice, I do have a PayPal link down below, if you want, <laughs> not necessary or anything, I mean, you could send me letters and stuff, or drawings or whatever, I don't mind, I like to keep everything, for instance, when uh, Dark Magician 81 sent me something. I have it in my Pokemon scrapbook. 
stuck right next to the card he signed for me, too. Anyway. Also, I have June stuff that he sent me in my scrapbook, too. Um. Hmm. Okay, I am just rambling on now. Okay, so, just to recap, thank you so much for commenting and being subscribed. It does really mean a lot. And, if you wanted to know if I can go on the right page, I am currently at, ooh, 469 subscribers. So, as you can tell, I'm using a calculator because I can't do mental maths. I'm terrible. <laughs> we have 31 subscribers left to 500. Yay! You know, I thought I'd be stuck at 450 for a while. Um, as you know, at, four, at 500, we have a huge giveaway with the Zoroark Jumbo and normal full art, I think, and Zoroa card along with the coin that it came with. Because I bought two, I think I got two of those boxes, so I kept one set for myself. The other one is for a giveaway. So, if you're interested in that card, do please enter that giveaway if you want. Um, you could just go to my channel homepage and it should be the video that's right there. Um, I'm think I do have a couple cards set aside for maybe the a giveaway after that or a mini giveaway before that. I'm not sure. But anyway, Oh, also, last thing, last thing, last thing, I promise. I have a special sale for the code cards I have up. I have put it up on Instagram and on eBay. The eBay price is a bit more expensive because of all the fees and everything. But the, if you want to buy it from Instagram, feel free. It is a bundle of code cards, which is all of my code cards, which is 119 of them, for a special price for today, because it was yesterday as well, but no one bought it yesterday, obviously. Then there's a special price for Monday, which is different. Then there's a special price for the first week of September. Then it'll be back to the normal price of £25.50. But the special discounted prices are like 10% off and something else percent off. I can't remember, but it's yeah. There is a slight difference. Maybe it looks a bit more than a slight difference between eBay and Instagram, but there is no fees on Instagram. So, buy from there if you want it for cheaper. Do please buy them. I have no idea what to do with them. I really need them gone. That goes along with saying with everything else I have for sale. It'd be very, very helpful. And I wouldn't mind negotiating some prices too. To do, have a look through all the stuff, buy whatever, and I don't mind holding it for you if you need to wait for payday or anything, that's fine too. So, now I'm done. So, thank you for watching, like, subscribe for more, ring the doorbell for notifications, over and out.